Yo, yo smoking probably take me with Giovanni, you heard best studio man. Come check it out. Yo, what's good? It's your boy Spike Tarantino, man. We just finished wrapping up a music video and you know I'm with my man smoking politics, so you know, we're gonna get into the podcast, we're gonna get into the talking, we're gonna chop it up, but make sure y'all tune in for everything we got behind the scenes. We working, this year is our year, his year. You know what I'm saying? If you see me on his, make sure you come tap on him. Bro's official, bro, real right. Feel me? Smoking, doing right. Let's get it, man. Spike Tarantino with. Appreciate you. It's D Money, we're here with Smoking Politics, Giovanni. And it's MT, we're here with Smoking Politics. Get out, everybody subscribe, definitely. So movie taps, the fucking taps, taps, Hold on, we live from Believe Studios. You know what the fuck going on, Mr. No Saruga, Mr. Tofu, me nice himself, aka Mr. Like, look, don't get your wife took. And you know we just knocked out that um smoking politic with Giovanni. We outside, don't fuck around. Cut the bow. Appreciate you, bro. Hey, yo, it's Demo stuck in the spot. I'm here with Hoodie Zay. Come smoking politics with me with Giovanni. Bow. Appreciate y'all. Ready? Yo, it's your boy Snug Speak. Smoking politics with me. Me and my boy Giovanni gonna let you know what's up, man. It's lit. Bow. Smoking politics. With my nigga Giovanni. You know the vibes, nigga. 3 8. Gang shit. Know. South Bronx in the blue. You know the vibes, nigga. 3 8. 1 3 8. Yeah. And don't forget AQ Queens, you heard? Yeah, AQ too, nigga. Story Queens. Forever. You know You're now with the U. Smoking politics with Giovanni. You know how fucking pop. Yeah. 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 Yo! I said, I said, I said, I said, I I I a boy's bitch, are you dumb? The blow is lying. She hit pack up, pack up. Dusty down, can't cross me. Can't fuck with me, my mental bossy. Shrimp and lobster, everything brothy. I can't stop it, shred me, I yard in me. Eat pure dumpling, got no rock with me. So just turn up, no time for y'all silly. If bars too tough, no y'all them can't kill me. And I'm too bored, a real nigga is me. The new girl bitch, you make me feel friendly. What's up, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube? It's your boy, I'm him, Giovanni. This is another episode of Hood Vlogs with Honor, changing the narrative every step of the way. This is episode 39. We got Miss Zaza Galore coming out of Harlem World. What's up? Let everybody know who you are, man. I already tell them your name, Yo, but what's talk good? your shit. It's your girl, Zaza Galore. Listen, I'm proclaiming myself the queen of the east side. Mm. We coming out the east side of Harlem. We are just trying to be positive. Mm -hmm. We are changing the narrative. Every step of the fucking way. Every step of the way. Uh -huh. We about to turn up. You about to get high and have a lit ass interview? Yes, ma'am. So, what are we oh. talking about, Leo? Yes, ma'am. Thank you what for asking. Where we going? Man. Where we going? We going the honorable route. All right. So, first and foremost, thank you for uh, allowing me to interview. Thank Shout out to your manager too. 
Um, thank you. You know, that means the world to me. I'm just starting out. You guys didn't pull no Hollywood on me. Yo, it's the enthusiasm and the energy for me, not for nothing. Like, you very welcoming. You oh, always yeah, had yeah. me here. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I, I want to be anywhere that yes, I'm welcome. Yes, yes. You get what yes. I'm saying? You Same know you're here. supposed to be in rooms that you welcomed in. So, yes. I'm, thank you for yes. having this warm environment to thank welcome you. me. And shout out to Believe Music Studios. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they We at right here. When you, you know, all free clients. Remember, all free clients get an hour free. We're engineering. They got five of the dope is engineers in the city to choose from too that's uh -huh. just a little side note all right so miss zaza first and foremost tell my subscribers and my viewers like a little bit about yourself your upbringing okay um i'm from the east side of harlem um i am the first grandchild so oh you the I'm oldest the, yeah you're the leader the of the pack kid. when it comes yeah. to grandkids i'm Ooh. the leader of the pack <laughs> like i'm the leader of the new school i got seven little brothers i'm mm. like i'm her yeah. i i'm super woman. you're her Maybe. <laughs> i'm super woman um i just um i love to make music right i i love to share my experiences in my life and just everyday things through my music and i i just like to speak to people right through music and i like you know Cool, cool. To get lit, I mean, like, to get yeah. lit. We gotta turn it up. We gotta yeah, get yeah. lit. Like I like to make people feel good. So that's where I'm at as far as what I'm doing with my music. Um, I know people always be like, "Oh, I got a sound. I sound like this. I sound like that." Right. Um, I sound like Jaja. Ja. Yes. Um, but you, you definitely have your own sound. Yeah. You don't sound like no one else. Like I sound like myself. I am a mixture of a lot of things. I am Jamaican, Trinidadian. Mm. I done lived a lot of places. I've been around Double a lot trouble. of. Yeah, I've been around a lot of different cultures, like, mm -hmm. and I am just a mixture of everything. I'd be like, you could call me Sancocho. <laughs> she said Sancocho. You talk your Spanish. You speaking in Spanish? Listen, I'm from El Barrio. Oh, wait, you Trinidadian, so you know, it <laughs> makes sense. Exactly man. Right there. I'm Dominican, so you know. Right, you know the only cousins. thing that separates us is a body of water. Mm hmm. Listen. Listen. So, okay. Your upbringing, right? Mm -hmm. How did that shape you to the woman you are today? Well, you like that question, like I right? Said, yeah. yeah. I'm the first grandchild. Um, I have a lot of uncles. Um, the way my uncle told me how to rap when I was five years old. Mm -hmm. When I was like, when I was five, I like so. I was just always up under my uncle's music, been my main focus since mm -hmm. I was five, six years old. I did Apollo, eight years old. Like, I oh, you did, did up the, did you was at the Apollo? Yeah, I did Showtime at the Apollo, eight years old. Not That's to stop Instagram. you, not to stop That's you. That's on my Instagram if y'all want to see it. I need that footage so I can add it to this. Okay. All right, go I'll ahead. I'll send that to you, yeah. Go ahead. But, um, yeah, like, I did Apollo at eight. My mom, like, once she realized that I was actually good at music, because at first, you know, it's The only, same man didn't come get you, right? At all. <laughs> at all. Good and shit, good yeah. shit. Because yeah. so, you know he gets kids too. No, for real. Yeah. He will. He will get that <laughs> He got no he picks. Like, yeah, swiping, nope. No swiping. Uh -huh. He will get you. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so um, I did that. And then I had moved to Arizona. Um, I did a lot of showcases in Phoenix. Like, Shout out I was to Arizona, doing man. a lot of stuff. Shout out to the West Coast. Shout out to Sawarita, yeah. Arizona. Shout out to Sawarita High School where LB lit. Now. Okay. I picked this. Yo, we did a whole lot. I did they, um, they, they actually, I do they, um, they theme song. The school song. I right. did it over for them. So oh, yeah? To the Gamecocks, yeah. <laughs> I be like, we oh, they, they call it their school. Your, your old high school is Gamecocks. I eat Linda every single day, pretty much. If I'm eating Linda. Sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. This raw, uncut, honorable, and sturdy content, people. Right. You know exactly. that. Go you ahead. What's up? Exactly. Yeah. Nah. So, um, yeah, I did they, um, they school song and stuff. Me and my dad did that together. My dad is actually a producer as well. Oh, yeah? Like, yeah. So, what's his name? Um, his name is Eyewitness. He Shout out to your father, man. Yeah, like... I was I learned a lot from being in the studio with him, like man, yeah. share my blood. Like I eat You breathed this shit, Yo, like I told like, you off camera. Man, listen. Mm -hmm. My son was just in the studio last week. I'm like <laughs> listen, I feel like this shit is an hour. How old is your son? He five. He's five? Yeah. Okay. Um if you want, talk a little bit about your son, like having him, like Hello. how did that shape you? Okay, so uh Cause you know you were you were way different. I don't know you yet, yeah. but I know you were way different from what you when you before you had your son to after. So right now, now um, what I can say is when I before I had my son, right, I was wild. I was in the streets fighting, 
right. everything. You know, I wanted to be outside. My yeah. feet was hot. From Harlem. In the words of my mother, my feet was hot. Right. And I liked the streets and I, I thought that that's what it was. Right. And then I got pregnant. And then I had to realize, like... It's not about you no yeah, more. Yeah, it's, it's not about me. Nothing is about me. It's so much bigger than me. Mm -hmm. And regardless of what, I always had this gift of music right no matter how much i'll be like yo i'm not doing this no more i'm a, i'm gonna get a regular i was working in starbucks right and bumping into people who see me at showcases like yo what's up with your music right and i'm like damn i'm trying this to is before your son yeah okay so but shout out to you not to cut you off shout out to your son yeah. because he's the reason why you're okay, giving yeah. the world this music exactly thank you to your son one day when he's grown enough to understand this, he's going to see that and he's going to say thank you too. I wrote my <laughs> first EP when I was eight and a half months pregnant. I wrote the last song, the last verse of that last song in right. labor. In labor, I wrote that song. I buried a couple brothers, so God gave me a son. Mm. My best friend got killed when I was five months pregnant. Mm. And, and then I had my son. Right. Like, and I, that's how I felt. Like it was okay. just like my best friend was reincarnated, and that shit gave me joy. Right. And it made me. Did you name your son after your best friend? No, I didn't. Okay, okay. I named my son after Hudson because we from New York. Right. What, what's his son's name? You don't. His if name you want to. Hudson. Oh, yeah. like the Hudson River. <laughs> exactly. Oh, he New York. Yeah. All day. He's so New York. Shout out to Hudson, right. man. Shout out to Harlem Huddy. <laughs> Y'all gonna see him. Real Harlem Huddy. Make him up his IG page because mm -hmm. you know a little kids page they going up. Okay, continue, yeah. continue. My bad. Go ahead. So, um, once my son came, it just, it made me grow up. Right. And it made me realize that life is bigger than just you. Right. It's bigger than me. And as as big as my son is to me, right. it's bigger than him. Right, right, right. So. No one's bigger than the program. Exactly. And we just, we got to do what we got to do for our people. Like, and we got to stick together. Like, that's all I got to say. My son made me see that we got to stick together and, whew, yeah. like, we all we got. Right. We all we got. Like, we all we got. And we need that village back. Facts. With that, you know, that brought me to my next question. I'm glad you said that. We need that village back. Um, How do you deal with, like, how do you overcome adversity? Like, you know, and with that, I'm going to ask a question with a question. How do you over overcome adversity? And what's your advice for the, for the females that are younger than you coming up and choosing this rapping lane and they have their single mom just like you are, but they want, they have um, dreams of, you know, doing what you do. Um, you can answer the, however you want to, you know what I mean? I would say don't let nothing stop you. If you gotta go to the studio, like, if you gotta not smoke in the studio cause your kid gotta come with you to the studio, if you really want this, you are gonna do it. Right. And it's not gonna be hard. Like things used to be hard for me. Like now that I got new management, that's another thing too. You gotta get a good team. Like right. I didn't look for my management. My management found From me. Yes. And and that's like you know. that was the best thing yeah. that that could have happened for my career and what I wanted to do because they on me the same way I'm on Shout them. out to Santino. Yes, shout out to uh, Santino uh, and BB. I'm and trying to interview shout him. Shout out to On The Rooftop Session. If he got to turn the camera off when we hear like, his voice, that's, that's we need how, to hear him. That's how y'all got Can you say something? For real. Say something because in all honesty, when Please. I was on The Rooftop Sessions, that's how y'all got the best yeah. version of Jaja. Like, yeah. they, they made Just me say hi. like I'm the shit. What's like, up? We outside. Yeah. Man. What's up, man? OTRS, man. Thank Sorry you. Lord, man. Thank you. They always here, like, and that that's my like they are my Santino. That's my <laughs> marvel. Like yeah. they come in for me every time. That's my marvel. You gotta get a good team. You gotta surround yes. yourself with good positive people and just stay positive and don't lose the vision. Like you know what you wanna do. Don't mm -hmm. lose focus. Of where you want to be Right Because once you lose focus Of where you want to be okay. You're going to get off track All the other shit It'll come after <laughs> Now let me ask this right Because this, this, this There's going to be Some young females That are going to run across this mm -hmm. And they're chasing this They're a single mom But You know You know how life is They're stuck on a dude That They shouldn't be stuck on But they're trying to Keep their family together Because of their A child Or their daughter Or B son but they still, they have that God-given talent like you. Mm -hmm. What do you say to that? 
How do um, how you navigate as a woman? You know, I'm a man. I, I don't know woman, how to. How do you navigate through that? Before, okay. And one thing I'm gonna say, as a woman, is when you're in it, you're in it. You can't tell nobody when to be tired, when to be done, when to be finished. All I can tell you is, don't lose focus of your dream because the minute that you give up on yourself, you give up on your child, you give up on everything. So whether you worried about the relationship, whatever, remember that if you lose focus of yourself, you're not even gonna be able to be in a relationship. Cause you don't got you if you not good you can't be in a relationship so make sure that you the best you mm -hmm. so all of that other stuff will fall in place right. it'll come in place so easy once you focus on yourself right. once you get to your higher self everything else is gonna fall in place and it might seem like it's taking forever you're gonna get tired things gonna bother you but you can't give up right so with that being said basically what you're saying if you got to separate yourself mm -hmm. <laughs> To protect your energy. Do whatever you have to do for yourself. <laughs> yeah. You got to love yourself One first. Do you agree? Is, if you are in an unhappy situation, children feel everything. They know you're sad, you happy. They, they know everything. Right. So don't fake the fun. Right. Okay. Now... Like I, I talked to you off camera, right? Mm -hmm. And I and I said what what, I'm, what my platform was about. You know, this is Hood Vlogs and Honor. You guys are gonna be seeing a lot of Zaza, man, on my platform, man. Um, she gave me opportunity to to interview her, and and I'm gonna always be right here for her. You know what I'm saying? Um, the next time I want to go where you where you from. I want to get catch all that, the essence of all that. Um, but, so with that being said, uh. Wow, I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> what was I saying? Um, you better catch where I'm at. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Forward. God Next damn. Question, Yo, don't please. do not smoke weed, kid. Like, yeah. oh man. Okay. Is at home? Oh, 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 oh. Now I got it. Mm -hmm. All right. This is hood vlogs with honor. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you feel me? So you know, I'm changing the narrative every step of the way. So I'm asking questions that should be asked. So. As a woman, this is, you know, I want to get a, a woman's perspective and a, and, a, and a human being's perspective on this. Like, a person coming from the trenches and all that. What are your thoughts on the mayor and the job that he's doing? You don't have to answer this, but I want to get a woman's perspective on this and, and just a, a New Yorker's perspective. Human being's perspective on this. Like, these are questions I feel like should be asked. I feel like, um, if... If you're not really in the situation that's going on mm -hmm. and the, the choices that he chooses to make as far as like, he's stiffing in gun laws, he's going hard about drill music, he's doing certain things, but he's doing those things because drill artists are not keeping in music no more. And I, I just feel like people should learn from like the Bobby Schmurders and stuff like, it's like, why you don't learn? So it's just like, even if you're gonna do music and talk about whatever, at least just make it up. Like, that was the whole point of writing to have an imagination. And y'all be dead ass, like, yeah, shut this thing. Like, bro, chill. Like, yeah. why you telling on yourself? Yeah. And then you mad that the mayor is stiffing in the gun laws because you talking about you got a Glock with a beam in the, in the with a switch. With a switch. That's hitting and everybody else, else but your you target. Find it. You just told why you told them. Agreed though, that's hitting everything else, everybody else that and got the nothing to do with nothing but your target. Not for nothing. <laughs> and I just feel like a lot of people are upset that the mayor is stiffening the gun laws, but a lot of people also don't know that the mayor also just started a gun program. Talk that about it. If you catch a gun charge and it is your first offense, you can get a one year program. And you will have to go to groups and stuff. Okay. And, and they just, there are trials. So there's no more five years yes, automatic, right? No, they're trialing it right now in the Bronx and Queens. Ooh. And it will be offered to other boroughs uh -huh. as long as the participants complete it. Yeah. So it's like the same way he's stiffing in the gun laws. He's still giving y'all a way yeah, out. Yeah, because he understands. So exactly. <laughs> and he's like, come on, y'all go plot for a gun now. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So why is y'all... What do you need a, a talk your shit? Trump with a beam for what? Why y'all ducking ops? The only thing I'm ducking is feds, man. Yeah, yeah. I ain't ducking nobody. And no, and you gotta duck and duck much. your old yeah, self. Yeah, my old self. I don't. Your old self. Yeah, my old self. Yeah, uh -huh. I don't want to be the old me. I'm not. Listen, I got beef for being broke. That's, yeah, that's the only thing I got beef with. I don't got no ops. Talk your shit. Okay, now. 
Yeah, we we talked about it. that. Thank you for answering that because I really like that's really what I like highlighting for my subscribers, you know. Um now uh with that, your thoughts about, you know, people talking about the dead in their music. Oh. Oh. I think it's extremely disrespectful. Um, I just. Do you do it? No. Okay, good. No. Refresh. Absolutely. Refresh. Absolutely not. Yeah. I like absolutely yes. not. Yes. Because if somebody speak on my desk, I'm be ready to flip the table. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. I, <laughs> like I just think that it's crazy. Like right. um, it's just a different level of disrespect. Mm. Like I feel like this. It's the ultimate Yeah, drill has like this this like thing where like there's no respect line. Drill is the devil. Yeah. Like you know how back in the days it'd be like women and kids is off limits. Right. Now in drill music, they'd be like it's, spit on your grandmother's sin yeah. and piss on your, your dad great. Yeah, like, yeah. It's like wow, it's like whew. Let me take that back though. I can't say drill is the devil because drill it's not. It's, it's a form of like art. It's therapy. Yeah, it's therapy, but like at the I feel like it's the devil when you know they rapping and they actually go out and they do that. This like, is the thing. No, see this and the dead. Is That's not the devil. The devil. Shit. Some of these people are just demons. Bad people. <laughs> like demons you have doing good drill. People, you have bad people. Yeah. And some people just are not good people. Yeah. Um, you know, I do, I dibble and dabble with music, it's therapeutic, you know, you know, I got shit streaming and shit, um, I never, I would never, you know, I got, actually, I got a few people that are really taking shots at my dad, and I don't do it, you know, um, trust me, like you said, you want to flip the table, yo, this, this, I want to, you know, let, you know, I, I'm changing the narrative. How I can know. I lead by example when I'm being a hypocrite? If it was dissing your dad, I would have dissed everybody that's alive in their family. You know, I wouldn't have dissed no dad. I would have dissed everybody that's alive, just to show you that I don't got to about nobody that's dead. Like yeah. I would have changed the narrative. I'm not. <laughs> well, this is what you do. I'm not really. I'm not. You know, you're better than me. I'm gonna tell you that on camera. Woo. You got that. You can out rap me. I'm and I'm good. I'm nice. You are gonna hear me after when we done. You are gonna hear one of my songs. And you're better than me. I'll give you that. Thank you know what I mean? You. I'm not ashamed of that. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Uh, but I don't do it because it's that's wicked energy. And how am I going to get on wax and this to that? And I'm promoting nah, not doing that. I'm going to look walky as fuck. No, so, that's a fact. So it's like, you know, I got to lead by example. Don't get me. get it. Don't get it fucked up. I, I want to do destruction mm -hmm. off wax. But, you right. know. I'm, I'm, I'm you know, how, bigger than that, you getting, yeah. how I'm gonna, how I'm gonna make my dad proud is succeeding and changing the narrative. Right. So, and I'm 37, so I gotta act my age too, mm -hmm. right? Okay, this is about you, though, not about me. So, right. all right, so, okay, where would you like, you know, and shout out to Miss Jamie Love, Real Raw Radio Podcast, right? Because I asked her this question and she said, she corrected me, she said, where would I like to be? Because we're not guaranteed five years. So I said, so here, him, let me ask this. Where would you like to see yourself in five years, individually and as a group with the people that matter that are around you? Um, individually, in five years? Mm -hmm. I should be on my third album. Right? Like, I globally, should be really know? Globally. Like, they making memes about you. Listen, memes. Good and bad, what? though. Relations, if you I got. I should be on TV shows more. All that. I should be everywhere in five years. In five years, I should be on all y'all mind. Mm -hmm. Like, listen. Facts. Okay. The sky's the limit. Now, as, as a group with the people around you. Um, the team that I have around me. In five years, who I would like them to um, grow as Oops, big as they possibly can. Right. Especially like when it comes to my management, I would want to see them be the management company, the label. Like I want to see them yeah. be to the biggest potential that they want to be because they put in everything into me. Like facts. So I would want them to be as big as they want me to be. <laughs> like, Facts. Okay, um, that's good. I like that. Now, if you can collab with any artist that's dead or alive, who would it be and why? You like that question, right? <laughs> I'm nice. 
I'm LeBron James in the paint with this shit. So go ahead, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Can I give three? Go ahead. Shit, this is your interview. All right. Tupac. Okay. We'll do the whys after. Go ahead. Tupac. Uh huh. Jada Kiss. Okay. And Moni Love. Who's Moni Love? No disrespect to you. I'm sorry. Who's Mo? Maybe I know her face. You can't. Come on. Please, man. Don't do that to me. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this is Hood Vox and Honor, man. Changing the narrative, man. We got Zaza Galore up in here. He said, Who's Monique Love? I'm about to put you on right now. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You mean Mona Love? Mona Love. I'm lost, man. <laughs> she was in the same. So yeah, Moni Love. It's yeah. a shame. I ain't, I ain't no Moni Love. Yeah, yeah. I had to put more. Uh, uh, no, <laughs> Miss Moni Love. I apologize, Queen. I knew who you were, but I, I didn't at the same time. My bad. Listen. All right. So you said Tupac, Jada Kiss, and Moni Love. All right. Yes. Why with Tupac? Why the fuck? I know why, but the, some subscribers wouldn't. Bro, because he's one of the the greatest mm -hmm. musicians. Lyricist, like he's a poet. He's still the goat to me. That I'm sorry. That man is an author. He's still the goat to me. Like, who? <laughs> yeah, Jada. Um, Jada because I grew up on Jada. Like my uncles always played. Like I lived in a Jada kid's house. Right. I, like, right. Used to be my dog. He was in my left titty. Uh huh. Speed right or die. I thought you would die with me. Right. Fuck is you talking about? Like, so yeah, like he's a poet. Like he was a poet. He used to be in the house. Ah. Fuck is you talking about? Like, so yeah, like nigga Jada. Mwah. Mwah. Kiss me, bitch. Yeah. Uh huh. I thought when he did that versus battle, man, he really showed his ass, huh? No. First of all, we not gonna talk about that. <laughs> what? Because he did that to Harlem. We don't speak on that. Oh my bad. You right. You right. <laughs> we don't. Oh, speak I was, on yo, that. I yo, you my respect it's level for you is way through bro. the roof. I'm from Harlem. You fuck with Jada, but go like, ahead. Nah, yeah. Nah, we ain't All doing right. that. I'm from Harlem. All right. Shout, shout out to Dipset though. Shout, shout out to Dipset. Yeah, yeah. Shut <laughs> up. Like, uh -huh. All right. we don't do that. <laughs> we love Jada. Yeah, love but it's Harlem first. Yeah, I, I understand. We'll I respect that. it. We'll I respect we'll it. Good shit. You did what the fuck you were supposed to do right there. <laughs> this is the clip. That's the clip I'm using for this to promote this uh, episode that's gonna drop tomorrow. <laughs> oh, yeah. So oh, I, I'm fast. Yeah, I'm fast with my shit. I don't play no oh, games. Shit. Yeah, I don't play no games. But when I get bigger, you know, you know, you're gonna, you know, I have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just as long as we have that understanding now. Oh, yeah. right. <laughs> but you understand. All right, so Jada. All right, now Mo Miss Mona Love. I'm sorry Moni once again, Love? Moni Love. Yes. Um, Why? Her freaking cadence, her vocal. <laughs> if you really listen to her cadence, the way she splits up her flows, all of that, like, right? You were here. You will hear so much like influence, right? Like in the music that's on right now, like. Right. Right. She the goat, right. for real. No disrespect to Queen, because Queen is the queen. Oh, of course. But she the goat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Roxanne Shantae too. Oh, yes, yes. Shout out to all the uh, pioneer women that were that came um, in the hip hop in the early days, and all the women that are doing their thing now. Right. Shout, shout out, out to, to Nicki. women. Yeah. Oh yeah. Shout out to Nicki Minaj too. Big shout out to Nicki Minaj. Um. What would you? What would, What advice would you give your younger self? Another banger. Look at you. Huh. <laughs> Hold on. It's going to get better. Mm. Don't give up. Um, you are beautiful. You know what's best for you. Right. Um, the bitches ain't your friends. Mm. Your um, son coming soon. Yeah. Hold on. Listen. <laughs> Listen. Um, trust yourself. Right. Love yourself. Right. Be yourself. Mm. Cause a lot of people don't like to admit that. Right. I have times in my life where, yes, I used to do things because my friends was doing it, or I wanted to be cool, or I wanted to be down. People don't like to admit that. Yeah. But you gotta admit where you were in order to grow and in order to be anywhere. So, 
yeah. Right. <laughs> Just admit it and don't do it again. <laughs> Be like, stop lying about it. Right, right, right. Now, I'm about to freestyle a little bit with the with the questions now. Um, when it comes to uh, women in the industry, right? What are your thoughts of how women, you know, they they get dealt with in the industry? Like, you know what I mean? Okay. Like they they get put in a position, you know, because you're an artist, you know what I mean? But I see, you know, you got management right here that, you know, I'm, he, I know for a fact, even though I just met him today, I know for a fact he's not going to let nothing stupid go down. I don't. But say if you didn't have him around, right? Mm -hmm. Or her. Or her. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. Your wife, Santino's wife in the building too. Uh, if you didn't have them, right? Big BB. Right? I ain't going to lie because it's the <laughs> big BB. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> If we, if you didn't have them, right, and say if you, you just, you know, because there's women out there like yourself that's got God-given talent. I was but, like that, and they're on I their own with it. I just signed to them, I, so I oh. was like that for a very long time. So yeah. What are your thoughts on women? You know, preferably the younger ones, um, getting put in rooms with like these vampires and sharks that just want one thing so they can elevate. They're just looking past their their God-given talent, and they only want one thing. Um, you gotta stay true to yourself. Right. You gotta know what you wanna do. Um, I've been in that position multiple times. Um, you gotta know when to say no. Right. Like, and that's just what it is. Like, sometimes people think, oh, if I do this, then I'm gonna get somewhere. But in all reality, anything that you get without hard work is not fucking worth it. Like, it's not worth it. Right. it. It's not worth it. Like, it's not. It's just not. Because you sit there and you do that, and then you don't even get where you want to be. Then you be tight. Now you attached to something that is not even you, but you just thought you had an opportunity. So it's just like, you have to be strong minded. You have to know what you want to do. And you, like I said earlier, you cannot lose sight of where you want to be. At all, right? Um, upcoming music projects, events. We actually have an event that we're going to be in the same building too. Talk a little bit about that. Um, that's the 16 ball, right? Yes, ma'am. All right, that's the midnight, bro. The late that's, night, yeah, brunch, right? right oh, I'm not gonna eat brunch. that whole day. <laughs> we doing brunch and then I'm night time. I'm green. I'm not eating that whole it's day. The Caribbean night time brunch. <laughs> You gotta get used to me, man. I'm gonna make him laugh all That's time. That's on March 17th, right? No, 16th. The 16th. The 16th. The 16th. Yes. Who's presenting that? Boston um, Dummies. Um, that's um. That's Real Raw Radio Podcast and Sign Up. Podcast. Shout out to Jamie and, um, Love. Yeah, shout out to Jamie. I'm gonna be there on the 17th. Jamie Love. Right? I'll be singing that song. Like that. Who do you love? I'll be like, <laughs> cause he's from Queens, Jamie. Mean, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm corny. I know. I know. <laughs> Who else? Is somebody else? No, no, this one, I forget. It was so BMF. QBMF. QBMF? That's who's it? Shout out to QBMF. Yeah, because it says QBMF presents. Right? And then, and then your cousin, right? 16 Boxer Dummies. Right, right. Raw, real. Real Raw Radio Podcast. Oh, you better say that right, boy. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Hayes. See, Haze you see how she checked me on camera. Yo, shout out to Hayes Even Trade. There you go, him. Shout out yeah, to Hayes. Shout out to Hayes. Um, shout out to QBMF. And shout out to Real World Radio. Yes. We outside, 16 Boston Dummies, nighttime brunch. Caribbean Fest. Oh, man. Come eat up, drink up, have a good time. Yes. Wine up, wine up, wine up. Now, <laughs> explain, like, you're going to be performing there, right? Yes, I am. Okay, so. Now, that brings to my next question. How do you prepare? Like, with me, when when I, you know, I'm just going to talk about myself real, real quick. Mm -hmm. when I performed coast to coast, you know. I performed in secrets, too. You know, I had everybody going crazy. Every, everywhere. Yeah, everywhere I perform, I control the crowd. I do it sober. You know what I mean? How do you prep yourself? Oh, um, when I perform, I want to say I be sober like I would smoke. Yeah. I probably take one shot, right. like for my nerves. Right, right, right. I'm always very nervous. Like I'm always nervous when I perform. But Why is that? Because you ain't that's nervous. That's just no. That's the thing. It's just a feeling that I have. Just because I'm nervous, don't mean that I can't perform. No, no, I know that. Yeah, it's just a feeling. It just is my nerves. Like 
I, I be nervous and then I just do it. Yeah. I, I don't know what I do when I perform. I blank out. Yeah. You got tunnel vision, right? I got tunnel vision. You don't even see the crowd no more, right? I start uh -huh. wilding. I just. Real right. I turn up and that shit is, yo. Yeah. I ain't even gonna lie. Whew. Now, what is your advice for, you know, not just the younger females, but younger uh, people, period, that's about to do their first uh, performance? And, and they have they have the nervousness like you because I can't relate with that you know because I, I'm I'm all for that I don't okay. I, I get I'm Hooked ready up. yeah yeah nah I still <laughs> have nervousness um I always had nervousness though ever since yeah. I was a kid right but what I do is I perform my songs all the time right like, all day in the bathroom in the mirror by, yeah, yeah, shower yeah. the mirror That's how it starts room yo set um uh, and I be wilding like and I be wilding like I'm in the crowd yeah right um. Uh, what? And I'm doing call and response. I'm doing everything in the mirror. The more you do that, the more, even though you're nervous, you're going to end up just falling into it. The problem is not having the nerves. The problem is getting through it. The nerves ain't the issue. Right, right. It's now, getting through the nerves. has there ever been a time in your life? Well, is there any, all right. Is there anything that you're not good at? That you want to be good at You know because everybody ain't perfect <laughs> No one's perfect I, well, let, me, let me rephrase that No one's perfect I want to learn how to play the guitar better At least you're trying Because you said better So that means you're attempting I took classes when I was in high school mm -hmm. So I know how to play like I know how to play notes I don't know how to play certain chords Because I don't got like no hand eye coordination I, That shit is just yeah, that ain't for everybody. That's not for everybody. Yeah, so right. I want to learn how to play that better. Right, right. Anything else besides that? I want. I want to be a better individual. Right. Like I want to be a better human being. Right. I want to be better for the community. I want to do more. I want to help people more. Right. I wish I was able to do more. That's why I'm just going so hard with this music because right. I, I want to help so many people. I. I just want the world to be better. Right? And you will. You know what? You will. You will. You're gonna. You know what? You're gonna get everything that you're striving for and then some. You know what I mean, as long as you stay with the people that are around you. And you stay consistent and, and you know And I'm telling you this And I need to Follow my own Fucking advice When I'm telling you You know what I'm saying um, Now to go back To what I asked Because I, we, I stared away It wasn't your fault It was me Upcoming projects Music But we talked about The March 16th The Midnight Brunch You know what I mean Anything else I know you have something On the 17th Yeah um, the You busy <laughs> We, 17, we got Real Room Radio Podcast And we got the pop-up shop The 420 pop-up shop in Harlem Ooh. I'm performing there Okay we doing a lot of If you need me to do media ever I'm here Listen and yeah, Like I said I told Like I told Santino I don't even Gio, want no bread I don't want no bread love. You can pay me a bud This is the <laughs> thing <laughs> Join the team Yeah oh, I'm already here I'm around Listen. I'm here I'm here This ain't death row <laughs> I'm here Come to the rooftop, baby. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. So, upcoming projects. EP, oh. single that you want to highlight. You know what I mean? We got... We choosing a single right now. Okay. But we got a lot of things. I got a... Um, I got a song um, spinning with Ron Browse. Uh -huh. um, check in, check in to Ether Boy Radio. I believe it's every day except for Wednesday at 9 p.m. on Instagram. Except for Tuesday. Except for Tuesday. Every day except for Tuesday, 9 p.m. Um, on Ron Browse Instagram at Ron Browse. We got a dope joint called Poison. He's spinning that. Okay. Every day. Rotation, we outside. Yes. I'm trying to get it. No, I. Go to my Instagram, Esau underscore Jaja. I learned a freaking dance. We gonna go crazy. Right, Turn right. it up. All right, so you guys are gonna see be seeing a lot of Ms. Zaza, man. Um, thank you very much. This I, I wish we could go longer, but we can't. Um, but we're gonna. You guys are gonna always see her, man. Um, Don't worry, I ain't going nowhere. Yeah, man. Inshallah. See you up, baby. Later. Only up. That's the only way she's going up. Um, Inshallah, you you Muslim too? I try to be a good Muslim. 
Me too. I try to be. Yo, me too. Every day I work better. <laughs> every day I'm getting better. But yes, I that's why I say I every just, day you yeah. just got to be a little bit of a better person. And then that's what I'm talking yes, about. Yes, ma'am. Listen, Ramadan coming soon. Oh, yeah. I've been practicing fasting. You know what I mean? So, I'm, you know, I haven't ate all day. You know what I mean? So, um... You didn't eat all day? Nah. And you got a good attitude? I'd be angry. Oh, because I have weed. And then I'm doing what I have, what I love is this. Without you know what I'm saying? Weed, I go with weed still. Nah, I I'm doing what I love though. You know? Angry. Nah, nah. Yeah, yeah. I'm a problem sober too. <laughs> I, I need the weed. I need the weed. Right. But, um, yeah, I want to appreciate you and your management, you know? Uh, for, for allowing me to interview you um, This is dope for my platform no, I appreciate And just know I'm always you. here for you and, and your management Whatever you guys need And if I could do Thank you I'm so slowly much. upgrading Soon I'll have a, a legit camera Listen. You know what I mean But I'll do what I can you do with this from somewhere Yes ma'am Listen mm -hmm. I'm from the trenches Yeah 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 We could have <laughs> been doing this With a video camera like this On this yeah. Chop all the height 1990s yeah. with a tape in it. Yeah, right. We gonna get it done. Right, right, Whatever right. we gonna do, I'm very humble. We gonna do this. Listen, shout out to you for having me here. Like, no, thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you. Thank you for the love. You sit here ready to do freaking press everything, bro. Yeah, We're outside, because like, bro, I appreciate. The We're love helping you each other. Thank you, nigga. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Say <laughs> my brother. Yeah. Um. Well, this has been episode 39 of. Put vlogs with honor, changing the narrative, changing the narrative every step of the way, man. Yeah. Subscribe, hit that bell. Let them know where to find you at. Your, your YouTube, your streaming worldwide on all platforms. Right. Shout out to Iceland because they really fuck with you. Yeah, right? shout out to Iceland. Shout out to Australia. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Finland. Oh, Finland, yeah, they they in tune. Yeah. Yeah. Where they can find you? Y'all can find me on Instagram at Eastside Zaza Z H A Z H A. It's the underscore in between Eastside and Jaja. So right. Just so y'all know. So, yeah, y'all gonna see me like this. With a, maybe like, and, and on all um, the platforms streaming. I'm on all streaming platforms. Jaja Galore. Z-H-A-Z-H-A -Z -H -A Galore. Mm -hmm. My EP is Birth of Galore. I got another EP called 25. Right. It's new singles dropping. I got a couple of singles out. Right. Y'all could go run that up. I got videos out. Right. We got the one-time video. We got the Shark Day video. Run that up. We outside. Y'all gonna be seeing way more of me. I got a freestyle video dropping this week. Right. So hit up my Instagram so y'all can get all the links to that. Right, right. We're gonna be outside. It's a lot of stuff happening. Now shout out your management, man. Right. Shout out the owner of Rooftop Sessions. Right. Outside. The best <laughs> management. Uh -huh. All right, man. Subscribe, hit that bell. You already know. Bless Tune in and make sure y'all follow my management page on Instagram, on the rooftop sessions, underscores in between all the words. We outside. Run that shit up. Spam it. We outside. Let's go. All right, people. Subscribe. Hit that bell. And remember, like I always say, man, love yourself first or how you able to love anyone else accordingly, man. Blessings. Yo, let me get the 56 of Patron. Hey, yo, I'm fun size. Put my gun big. I got a complex. I solve shit. Olivia Pope. Don't deal with nonsense. Bad bitch face pretty. I could win a contest. I'm Zaza. Watch me grow. Respect the process. I'm big dope. You bitches is $20 ace. I'm out to pop now. So these bitches is running out of space. About to run down. Bitches get the fuck up on my face. I got the Nike on. I mean, I got my 22 today. Bitch, I'm galore. I'm about to stun on these floors. I'm fresh on my head to the floor. Shitting on whores. If he was comparing swag, I'm sending y'all bitches. Yo, who are you here with? I'm smoking politics with Joe Bunny, man. I bet. Oh, so we lit. Out, man. Yeah. Subscribe, hit the bell. Oh, all right. Oh, you know that shit. Uh.